Hi everyone, welcome to Cruising with Kim and Jen. And today we're gonna to be talking about the icon of the seas and the entertainment on icon of the seas, as well as the overlook and the aqua dome. Welcome back. Okay, we're gonna be starting Get right with- right to it. Let's jump in here because we have entertainment to talk about and we love the entertainment we will just open it up like that on icon of the seas it was bar none outstanding every single thing that we went to but we want to start with one part of the ship that we didn't discuss yet and that is the very front where you can see the glass dome which is kind of famous for icon of the seas right now and that is the overlook and the overlook was absolutely gorgeous. And we're gonna share things with you on that. And love that place, didn't you? It was very nice. Mm -hmm. It was very quiet. It was very nice. And yes. You could just, it was behind, back behind the, um, the theater, aqua theater. Yes. Where they have the show. And so you could just kind of walk around both sides um, and go um, right to the very front of the ship to this overlook area. And like we've said, if you've seen our previous episodes, this was very conveniently located for us because we were on 14 right by the elevator, which we love being okay. by the elevators. And then we just run up the one flight of steps and we were right there where we could walk right into the Aqua Dome. They had like a royalty area where they had jewels for the Royal Caribbean, oh, yeah. which is kind of yeah. you know fun to look at. And then they had the Aqua Dome. They had hook seafood on the other side where you could actually have seafood and watch the, yeah, the that Aqua. Yeah, that was different. That was different, different. Yeah. yes. And, and the Aqua Show was very nice. It was different like how all their mm -hmm. Aqua Shows are, but it was a very good show. Yeah, and very entertaining. Very entertaining and nice because it was inside. Yeah, it's enclosed on yes. this one. So yeah. it was very nice. Now. We will circle back to the aqua market that is right there in just a second. But as Kim said, as you move on to the front of the ship, they had this beautiful area with a bar, two bars actually, one on lower mm -hmm. and then one up higher. And they had these tree pods that you could climb up into. Yeah, you know, stairs upstairs. up there. Yeah. yeah, and then kind of hang out there. Uh, we've heard so many different reviews of this overlook area. You know, people say it's way too hot in the daytime there. I will say it's yeah. sunny. It's very yes. sunny, mm -hmm. hot, yeah. not necessarily. No, but it it's was, air conditioned. It was very bright. Very, very bright. I was like, bright. oh, I need my sunglasses <laughs> out here. Because <laughs> this is the front of the ship. Yeah. So it kind of gives you a different perspective. Like if you want to go up there and then just sit, because you can see where you're where driving, which is really kind of cool. Yeah. And tons of different seats, comfortable things. They had an aquarium that was a 3D type of aquarium that you could see. Mm -hmm. And in the evening, it was gorgeous. It was all lit up and just absolutely beautiful. We never went to a sunset. You know, if you're going the right direction, right. you can see the sunset there. And they said, it's just a premium spot. We tend to, we were going, like we've said before, we went to the hideaway. And so we were in the aft of the ship when mm -hmm. we were looking at the sunsets. However, it, it was gorgeous. Yeah. Now, one place that we've heard, and Matt from Royal Caribbean Blog, um, we know that you love this area. We did love this area. It was quiet. It was air conditioned. You could get work done if you wanted to. Yeah. You could sit down. And not to mention that, oh my gosh, Kim pointed out as we came through, they are constantly, meticulously placing the pillows, oh. the chairs. <laughs> Like obsessively. Yes. Like you walk by, the pillows are just, just stacked, just so beautiful, aligned perfectly. The Color chairs order. <laughs> were aligned perfectly. Nothing out of alignment. Like that must be somebody's job, I guess. I guess it was beautiful. Pillow fluffer. All the time. Yeah, pillow fluffer. Pillow was. fluffer, arranger. <laughs> Yes. And little little seating arrangements and tables all through this area, which is a little different for the Aqua. It is uh, the Aqua isn't it? Theater. Yeah, a, uh, to have that kind of a seating mm -hmm. thing. But um, it, it know, was... they had the they had the typical stadium kind yes. of seating. But then they had on the um, upper edge tables and um, chairs and comfy seats with pillows. With pillows, with pillows everywhere. <laughs> so and so you could go in there in the daytime and just kind of hang out. 
and you would also see sometimes rehearsals. They'll be yeah. rehearsing and, and that was kind of fun and they're constantly fixing. You do want to schedule the shows. I mean, beforehand, you don't have to. We did, we chose like what day we we're going to see mm -hmm. the Aqua show and everything. Yeah. Didn't have any problem. You can still walk in with, you know, most of the time they had the standby area that you could. It's just nice when you knew and then you could go a little early and they scan your card right. and then get yeah. in to you see. Pick your place to yeah. see. Yeah, so yeah. that's nice. We did that on day one because we wanted to make sure we absolutely saw the In case show. something happened, we yep. still had several more days yep. because that happened to me on Harmony. Yes. Um, with the aqua show yeah. and they kept canceling yeah. occasions because of what we um, weather wind, yeah. wind yeah. I think mm -hmm. um, and so I ended up not getting to ever see it <laughs> yeah so, so that was not good yeah. well yeah yeah so this time we made sure and yeah. it is enclosed and so they didn't have any issue with that and this this tank of a ship barely moves I mean it just you just don't feel a lot of movement on no. this ship it is it's so smooth yeah for anybody who's worried about that mm -hmm. it isn't too much of a worry no no you not maybe at all. really have some rough water yeah and I, I'm which we didn't well yeah. there's no yeah yeah we did not at all okay now we want to talk about the aqua market because they have a free area up there that is an aqua market that is right there they have the seafood on the one, on one side, side yeah. and then the aqua market where you could go in you can get free you know soft drinks or you can get your lemonade your coffees and all that there but then they have different stations they have a mediterranean station they have a sandwich station and, and then, the sandwiches looked very good they did how'd they taste Mm, not so good. Not so good. <laughs> yes, and, and usually if she says it's not so good, I'll go ahead and take a bite and go, oh, let me try. Um, I didn't even try this one. It was a Monte well, Cristo. Yeah, was I it? really love a Monte Cristo sandwich mm. and was really looking forward to it. And it looked really good in the case. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, it had a funky taste to it. I didn't care for it. So I didn't even finish it. But uh, there was a lot of other kind of sandwiches and foods, which I just yeah. really didn't didn't have the desire to try right. any of them and you didn't try any other sandwiches did i didn't you? try any of the sandwiches yeah. i mean they had salads, they had salads. there i and think we did eat some macaroni and it was just i yeah. had the macaroni it and, and 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 matt from cribbing had said that you know he had eaten there it was and, his favorite place or one of his uh, yeah one places. of his favorite yeah. places i think to go in and it was quiet because you could sit inside there too and then overlook the ocean yeah, and but i have area. to say i mean we're from kansas city and I think we like a lot of cheese and things. And so, I mean, I was expecting like a good hearty macaroni and it wasn't, it was like cavatappi um, pasta with a little bit of cheese. And on the corner, they did have a crepe station and I will say that that was a hit. I, I yeah, did enjoy the crepe yeah. station. And then right by that, they had a beverage. Didn't they have your soda fountain right yeah, there? Yeah, they did have a soda mm -hmm. machine. Uh -huh. so, and so that was convenient because- Boy, that was. Um, if you're gonna go to the show right there. Yeah. Or for us, you know, that was close by um, our room. Oh so gosh, yeah. Stopping there. The, it was like, well, let's go. Let's, it was let's in, go the in the afternoon, sea yeah. day. A sea day afternoon, one. yeah. And it was super cute. Super, super cute. cute. Um, then the uh, Elemental, the other one that we actually oh my had gosh. scheduled that on our last day. Mm -hmm. So we didn't see that till the last evening. Um, and I thought, and somebody had said what it was about. It's kind of about the periodic table. Yes. And I thought, how yeah. do you make an entertainment show out of the periodic table? I can't think of anything more boring. Right. But um, it oh was not. Oh, my gosh. It was, it was, it was fabulous. It was fabulous. And yes. they made it very entertaining. Yes. And very colorful. And the projections and just everything about it was really, really good. We'll try to show you a little bit of the video of that. I mean, for copyright, we can't do, you know, a lot of the songs, but the spot, songs were all popular and spot on mm -hmm. with it. Yeah, it was, it was just, just so cool. It was really entertaining. Yeah, yeah. very, very, yeah. Um, very, very cool. And then we had um, Victor that was a juggler that w happened to be oh. in ours as well to, to go to Legends of Rock. Now there's some shows that you need to have reservations for if you want or not. Legends of Rock was a rock show with some legendary rock In the music icon. hall. Yes. Next to the casino. Next to the casino. And oh my gosh, they didn't disappoint either. No. That was so If you like fun. 80s music, oh, um, which we do, mm -hmm. and so it was kind of just the right demographic of people fun. that were there. Um, 
but these guys were each one a part of a legendary band mm -hmm. back in the 80s. Oh, and, yeah. Um, ACDC, uh, Led Zeppelin. Uh, the Babies. Yes, The uh, Babies. What was the other one? And, and he was also in Survivor. Journey. Yeah. There's Journey. They were uh, really good. Yeah. White Lion. White I, Snake. I, Yes, like, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, they were really oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh my gosh, it, it was just, it was fantastic. I mean, they the got everybody was nice going. Too. It was the comfortable. Was nice. We had comfortable yeah. seating, yes. and they had a little dance floor, and people got out there. But the band was just really good. Really good. Everybody, I think, just wanted it to go on and on and on because absolutely they sang some really good songs. Sounded just mm -hmm. like the regular bands. Yeah. Well, and what they said is that each one of the songs, one of them had either been in the original band or created the yes. song. They had a great drum solo. I yes. mean, so all of these things, it was kind of fun. We saw some of the other entertainers that were there that were watching them as well, because they are so yeah. iconic. Yeah. I mean, I, I, it was just, it was spectacular. Mm -hmm. And, and, and we met Eric from the keyboardist that is on there. The, Oh my gosh, she's phenomenal, wasn't he? Really yes. nice. he came and up so, to us in the wind Yeah, jammer he was so talked, nice. Um, talked to us. Yes, but. so nice. And and that was what's fun is because, you know, a lot of these entertainers are eating breakfast and hanging out yeah. in, you know, in the buffet. And so it's really fun. The interaction with with everybody was just phenomenal. And so, okay, let's talk stage show. Wizard of Oz. <gasps> Wizard of Oz. Oh man. It was phenomenal. I the best show I've ever seen on any cruise ship ever. You know, and that's ever. saying a lot because we've seen yeah. some good ones. Oh, we've seen some. Absolutely. Yeah. This show, we talk to people that you know, have been to see Wizard of Oz on Broadway, you know, paying at minimum 160 to $600 a ticket, they said. And they said this was better. And it was really good. I... I mean, we don't have any pictures out of respect for their privacy with with this, but I mean, they had things going over, you know, Dorothy's house over her head and, yes. and the, flying the tornado scenes. Yes. And I mean, you name it, the entire show was in it. It was an hour and 50 minutes, I believe. So yeah. it was a long show and absolutely mind boggling yeah, how was, wonderful it was. Really and then they had another show that was the first few days. So please, please, please schedule that. You know, I mean, make sure that you do go yeah, to see Yeah, because it that. only went for so many days. Yeah, I think just like the first two or three, three yeah. days. Yeah. yeah. And they did have an, a matinee as well, because if you're going to take your kids, this mm -hmm. one, they, they usually sh were having the showing from eight to 10. One was 10 to midnight, but they did have a matinee for kids because that's very late, yeah, you know, for them. Really but, good. But they had the effectors. Yeah. Yeah. That okay. one's different. It was different. And I think, you know, I'd have to say, Kim and I saw the original Effectors, which was fabulous on the, on wonder, the wonder of on the, the wonder. Seas. And it was the inaugural cruise that we were on that one. That one was the world's largest. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's weird. And that it? was a really different and really good show. So this one was yes. like... It was supposed to be kind of... A prequel. Of, yeah, a prequel yes. to that show. Yes. And kind of setting it up, mm -hmm. I guess. You yes. Know, and I don't know, it missed the mark a little bit for me. But you know, I agree. Yeah. I do agree with you on that because, I mean, to be very transparent... Be, and I think if you had not seen exactly. the other one, I exactly. think you might be just a little yeah. confused or Yeah, I think but, so. Or, or maybe you would like it because, you know, they do have drones and things in it. But since we did see the one on Wonder of the Seas, yeah. I will say that this one was, just in my good. opinion, and what yeah. do you think? Yours as the other. It wasn't as good. Yeah. I mean, it, it was okay. It was good. I mean, it was entertaining. Yeah. But um, if if you have to see one or the other, I, I would hands the down see one. Wizard of Oz. Even, I, and I know, oh, oh yeah, the show. Yeah. I thought you meant mm -hmm. the Effector show. But, oh, yeah, Wizard of Oz. Really, mm -hmm. you can't miss that one. No, no, it, it's a must-see. Mm -hmm. Okay, the last thing we want to discuss, and, you know, these are the, some of the shows on here, which they were all fantastic. I mean, they, you know, must-sees. But getting off the ship just for excursions, we've had a lot of people ask us, so so you have 7,000 people trying to get off, you know, for an excursion. Mm -hmm. You know, how was it? How crazy was it? How crazy was it, Kim? Well, nothing on this ship <laughs> was really crazy, first of all. 
True. Nothing, nothing, True story. Yeah. Never felt like there were 7,000 people on this ship. Never. So getting, it was never getting crowded. off for excursions was really no exception. It was very mm -hmm. easy. They made an announcement when you could start getting mm -hmm. off. And um, it was so easy. You would get in the elevator. Now, on previous cruises, Whew. we were always like, okay, yeah, so today, is it <laughs> deck two, deck three? Because there were never really signs. No. And so, you were just kind of guessing, and then you'd get down there, and maybe you'd see a sign down on right. deck two. And, but this was super easy because they would have sign um, kind of out by the elevator. Then yep. you'd get on the elevator, and it would just say, um, or no, on the pad. On the, on the pad, the it said gangway. It said gangway. So you just pushed gangway. You didn't have to think. What no. floor is it going to be? No. It said gangway. Gangway. Boom. Push it. Get on the elevator. Um, you, we it went, went, then it went straight to the gangway but yeah. in our case you know the gangway was the promenade deck and the promenade so, mm -hmm. and then it was down the escalator yes so the promenade door would open and then everybody would be like okay and you step off and there would be the can i help you people yes, with a showing big you sign where to go. you know you will go this way uh -huh. so you start walking down the promenade which is inside which is so nice it's comfortable yeah. it's air conditioned and then they had towel stations Yes, mm -hmm. right there before you got on the escalator. Yep. And then you just got on the escalator and down you went. Absolutely. And out, and out the door. It was mm -hmm. super easy. Escalator. And it would always tell you, okay, today you're in St. Thomas or today yeah. you're a perfect day. You need to be yeah. back on this shot ship at this time and it would have yes, a billboard there, there was know. no guessing and Never. wondering and Never. asking around it was just Never. all spelled out really clear for you yep. and they had trams to take you like, oh gosh get yeah on a tram to take you um over big to, trams to, like for instance coco k yep. when we were there mm -hmm. and then a tram to bring you back and they took you took us right to the the to the area that walkway. you needed to be yeah. yes so mm -hmm. i mean so you know, go down the escalator, go down the next escalator, out the door. You're we never, you're, we never, never waited. Never waited for even a minute. And the beauty of that is, is if you wanted a Starbucks or anything on the promenade, it's there. If yeah. you're meeting family, there's there's Gathering places fun. to yeah. sit there. You can sit, you know, outside on the promenade. This is the first promenade we've ever been we on. Didn't that talk we had. about that. Yes, they had a really nice, really nice. seating area yes. outside. You could just go outdoors mm -hmm. um, onto the deck there, the outside deck. Lots of comfortable oh, couches and chairs, yes. and um, lots of people napping. Lots of people napping. <laughs> it was a nice little area yes. to just hang out. And, and that happened to be the jogging track too, which had air oh, blowing right. through it, and it's beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah, where you could jog yeah. the whole ship but it was covered mm -hmm. air blowing and you could see the ocean right there it was yeah. just phenomenal mm -hmm. but yeah it was just so easy easy yes, everything easy. was just pretty easy yes absolutely and then getting back on the ship again they have four entrances where they were monitoring so you never had to wait in line you would just walk right in yeah. put your stuff through security and then they would just escort you right over to the escalator you go up one floor and then you turn and then go up the next no elevators and then you're in this huge promenade. So are you hungry? Are yeah. you thirsty? Everything is included right there. You can get it. And then yeah. they had a towel return right there. So you didn't have to wander around. Yeah, that was great too. Yeah. Yes. But, you yeah. can't get much easier. Mm -mm. So on a scale of, you know, one to 10, with this being the most fantastic ship I've ever been on, it's a 10. It's a 10. I if mean, not more. I mean, there was, a, I think we talked about one little tiny draw, two little tiny mm -hmm. drawbacks that I'm going to just say. Real okay. Quick. One was our bathroom. Mm. <laughs> the bathroom. Really, I totally forgot about that. Really tiny. It's tiny. <laughs> it's very nice. It's tiny. It's got everything you need, but it's very tiny. Well, you say it has everything you need, but did it? What about right. the... You know, this is a big premium ship. Yeah. We had a balcony room. I mean, nothing, you know. The balcony, the room yeah. was about standard. Yeah, it was, it was just standard. Room. But we expected it to have shampoo, conditioner, and yes. body wash. Yes. That's a kind it of a had standard. No, it had no, it just had one thing. It one. had no, yeah. Yes. One thing, and you're supposed to use it for all of Yes. Your hair, your body, yes. everything. Okay. And this that was hair, fine. But this hair doesn't do Need well a with it without yeah. a conditioner. So I was constantly yeah. just curls everywhere and wild so hair. Was, yeah, mm -hmm. and the bathroom just super, super tiny. Tiny um, is an understatement. The other thing, <laughs> this is the biggest, newest ship. Yes. 
USB ports. Let's talk about that. Oh my gosh, I was right. told we had yes. read everywhere, yes. don't, don't worry about extension cords. There's plenty of USB yeah. ports. Okay, there were USB ports, but guess what? They they don't have all the right kind of USB ports. She has the newest plugs. Apple phone. Yes, the new Apple phones yes. have a different, it, it's a USB-C C or, yes. C or yes. something like mm -hmm. that. There were none of those. They did. So work. I had I had to find a plug, and there weren't that many outlets. There was to two. Plug. There were two in the whole room. Right. So mm -hmm. we had to plug in a fan. We had to plug in our phones. We had, and I couldn't use the USB ports. No, nope. and, and I couldn't use the USB port either. And so there was yeah. one outlet in the bathroom. So I would hook my phone in the bathroom. Yes, and which then, really wasn't convenient. No, nah, no, nah, it wasn't convenient. You know, you set your alarm and stuff yes. and it's in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And, but I mean, we were told, oh yeah, don't worry about that. There's plenty. So I didn't take our extension cord. Which we normally always do. We normally take yes. it just in case. And so we were constantly mm -hmm. having to unplug something to plug something else in. It so just convenient. be aware of yes. that. Yeah, I agree. Um, that would be the only. Yes downfall um yes is our cabin and yep. the things that were in there otherwise oh my gosh these beds were so comfy oh my oh, gosh the beds yes. were so comfortable the, the beds last time, were awesome the last time i was on a royal ship was harmony it was and not I comfortable thought the beds were yeah. you, you know mm -hmm. i know we mentioned talked a little bit about the casino but as far as crowds um you know oh, on a lot of yeah. ships the casino mm -hmm. gets really crowded we always found machines and things. Always. 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 Um, yeah. So it, it was not a problem. Mm -mm. It was a very, it was a lovely casino. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. Almost too much so. Yeah. I, I would go back on this ship in a heartbeat. I mean, I as soon as the price it. comes down and I stuff. Miss yeah, it. I miss it too. I mean, I wouldn't hesitate to go on it again. We and, saw some lady on the yes. elevator who was almost crying two days yes, before yes. we were getting off the ship yes. because the, the cruise was coming to an end. Yes. And she was sad. Yes. And, and so people loved yes. it. Yes. I, I, yeah. And so many happy people. I've never been on a cruise with happy people, happy, happy crew. crew, happy. Everybody was happy. Every, the yeah. food was fabulous. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, it was just, it was great. Yeah, so, it was. so that is, this concludes our <laughs> Finally, icon of yeah. the seas. <laughs> we, had all four we did, we, we did, we did, and we say. wanted to break it up for you so that you could pick, you know, what part is yeah. is important to you. And so we do have multiple parts. So if you are interested in the different, you know, the different neighborhoods or embarkation or anything like that, please. Please look through and don't forget to like and subscribe. And we have more videos coming up because we have a lot to talk about since yeah, we did we three did, in a row. We did two cruises before mm -hmm. Icon, so we're going to be talking about those yes. two and everything that we did. So yes. it was a, a very um, adventuresome 17 days. <laughs> it was. And fun. It was yes, so fun. fun. Yeah. So, but thank you for joining. Like and subscribe and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.